excited. I really, really just can't wait. <laughs> it's crazy. I come from Montreal. I uh, drove here and uh, I'm just uh, waiting for the, uh, the concert now. Less than a few hours away. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. I first heard he was sick through Facebook. We're a tight little community on Facebook that keeps in touch with all Paul news. Uh, you know, I was a little bit worried, but I figured, you know, he would he would pull through. He's so, you know, fit and, and loves to tour so much that I just didn't see him not touring anymore or not coming out of this. So it was so great. And when I saw that Albany was the first date, it was the best because I've never seen him open a tour. So I'm so 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 excited to be part of the first date. being treated at the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center and uh, through the social worker they offered me a dream um, through the dream team so I had to write four things um, so this was number one meeting Paul McCartney thinking it was impossible and then I wrote uh, you know some normal stuff like you know take my wife on vacation my daughter wants to go to California and uh, anyway I had to write up a letter as to why I wanted this and uh, the committee approved it, and uh, here I am. <laughs> you know, and it was a big thrill. It was a big thrill. You know what's amazing? There's so so many young kids yes. like our music. Yes, it's all coming back. And we thought it'd be like about ten years when we started. <laughs> so maybe we could last ten years. No, you're, you're <laughs> don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody, don't tell anybody that. That. I just want to tell you, I want to say thank you for all the years and all the hours and hours of the greatest music I ever heard in my life. No, no thank you. And man. I was a, Come here. Thanks, man. I was a little kid. Yeah. I was six years old when I saw you guys on the Ed Sullivan show. Yeah, oh yeah. And there's nothing that impacted me like that ever. And it never went away. Whenever I hear your music, I'm still that six-year-old kid that runs to the runs to the TV. Oh yeah. Oh. I just I get a jolt every time. And, Beatles songs are not songs. And your They're music anthems. gets him through all They're his anthems. treatments. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. An explosion. Oh. And you guys got me. It's so everything. great, man. I mean, like, you know, do you think about it? We're just kids from Liverpool, and we start out to get a group together, mm -hmm. and then now I'm hearing people saying, you know, look you, the effect of the music, and it's like. Yes. The jolt never went away. We love it. We love yeah. that jolt. It's just never went away. Yeah, man. Beatles songs are not songs. They're anthems. They're explosions. There's, for me, there's nothing that compares to a Beatles song. It just it got me through everything. I mean, I've been through a lot of stuff, uh, especially the last few years. And uh, just the music. I always had the music. You know, when I was a when I was a kid growing up in grammar school, I was an overweight kid. I didn't I didn't have many friends, but I always had that. I always had the music. That was my anchor. I don't remember my life without the Beatles. You know. All right. Beautiful. Well, here's well, to that jolt. So Thanks a lot. Yes. All right. Have, have a, a great show. show. All right, you guys. Thanks All for right. taking the time. See you, Don. Thanks for taking the time. You're welcome, man. Thank you so Come much. Come on. <laughs> hug it out. Group hug. Group hug. Group hug. Group hug. Group hug. Take a picture. Take a picture. Picture. Come on. We want picture. a picture. Take a picture. Hug. <laughs> Look around. Yeah. Hey. All Thanks, right. Paul. Okay, you guys. Have a great show. Thank yeah, you have a great one, too. It's, it's, it's been a long road, you know, but uh, like I said, I, I, have, uh, I have my iPod Nano. And <laughs> it's, it was funny because, um, you know, I, I had a stem cell transplant about two years ago. And, uh, you know, you're confined to the, to the room for about a couple of weeks, you know. So I had, uh, you know, my music and blasting and the nurses were coming in and <laughs> saying, I think I want to hang out in this room because, you know, everything was upbeat, you know, with the music and the exercises I was trying to do. And, you know, the Beatles and McCartney's music played a big part in that. So uh, it kept me going. 